Are we filming now? I was just enjoying this amazing view here. I'm coming. Hello everyone, it's Mimico's favorite realtor and I'm standing on Victor Avenue, one of the most beautiful and picturesque streets in all of Mimico, in sought after Mimico by the lake. And I'm standing in front of 56 Victor, a custom built four bedroom, four bathroom family home with over 2,600 square feet of living space that's gonna blow your mind. I'm so excited to show you this house. I put on a white collar. Now get in here. Note this beautiful front porch where you can sit with a glass of wine, watch the passers by, wave hello to the neighbors. Hello! Hey guys! Hey! And just enjoy the most beautiful street you can possibly enjoy. Foyer, foyer, foyer. Perfect foyer for this style of home. Grand home, grand foyer. Classic, modern, open. I love this staircase. I love these pops of color. I love this full wall wainscoting. It's a textured painted out detail, but it draws your eyes straight upstairs, makes you wanna go up there. That's an ideal architectural feature. You're also seeing boom, straight into the backyard. You have the kitchen, you have the dining room, you have that living space. You're drawn back there. You're excited when you walk in here and if you buy this property, you walk in here after a long day's work and you go, I came home to the right place. It's stunning, it's relaxing, and it's beautiful. Let me show you more of this. So I love what they've done here. This is a perfect functional kind of crossroads, right tucked at the front of this house. We have our garage right here, and yes, you can get out of your car in the garage and walk right into the house without being in the rain or the snow or the sleet. I can't wait to show you this garage. It's on point. We got a powder room right here. It's gorgeous. It's tucked away from that kitchen in that living space. So often our powder room encroaches on space where you don't want to hear people using the bathroom. You don't feel comfortable to use the bathroom. Here, you're separate. You're, it's like in its own wing over here, perfectly situated, and of course, we have a front hall closet here. We can put our coats and our hats and our boots here. It's extra deep, tons of storage here, and allows that front hall to really shine without being cluttered by a closet. Love that it's been tucked here. Over here, we go down to the basement. Incredible basement, can't wait to show you. We also have a separate side door entrance there. Ultra convenient, a little bit of glass in there, letting extra light in. Beautiful access here. And we walk right into this main living space. This is the dream. When you think about the type of home you wanna live in and you think about that main floor plan, you draw something just like we have here at 56 Victor. Look at this dining space. Tucked in, close to the kitchen. We don't need those formal dining rooms anymore. It's about the eat-in kitchen. It's about that entertaining feel where you're working in the kitchen while your guests come over. They pull out a chair, they crack a beer, they have a glass of wine, and that conversation is flowing from the island to the table to the island to the table. It's perfect, it's on point. We got a huge six-seater here. You could fit eight. You can see this extra space here. You wanna have that big Christmas gathering and have that King Arthur table in here, you got space for it. Beautiful, just some amazing attention to detail. Love this light fixture. It's modern, it's a little bit retro, and it's bringing this home in. These types of features throughout the house, really important. Built-in pantry over here. It's being used as an arts and crafts center for the kids because these people have three beautiful children. But otherwise, you could put your glassware in here, your decanters in here, wine, tons of storage, really good use of space, and allowing that kitchen to breathe well thought out. Want to talk about one feature in these custom homes that 
really is on point here at 56 Victor. It's this wide plank flooring. Underneath your feet, it feels solid as a rock. It's big, wide oak. It's obviously well installed, and it's just a really nice natural gray color. It's not a tacky gray or a too cold. It really feels warm and inviting. It feels awesome under the feet and really showcases this home, and it runs almost throughout the second and third level. Really, really great flooring. Walking into this kitchen, I'm impressed, and I'll tell you why. It's modern, it's classic, and it's always gonna be in style. I love these countertops, absolutely functional. You never have enough countertop space in a kitchen. At 56 Victor, you sure do. Tons of room for prep, cooking, cleaning, chopping, all your kitchen needs on this gorgeous white quartz countertop. It looks like high-end Carrera marble, but it's not. It's high-end quartz, which is gonna clean way better, be way more durable, and suit a family much more than a porous marble or natural stone product. Love this backsplash, it's herringbone, it melds in here, but it just adds the perfect amount of texture to make this kitchen feel fancy and expensive. Love these panel doors. They're the classic shaker, extra high, tons of storage in here all around. Love them, simple, classic, clean, great hardware, and again, really nice classic and simple appliances in here, but still on that higher end. We've got these double doors here on this French door fridge, love it. Really beautiful hardware on here with some nice little texture. We've got a great built-in dishwasher right here. And of course, our gas range, because if you're not cooking with gas, you're not really cooking. Gorgeous, awesome kitchen here. Love these pendants. Tons of room. You want to entertain in this space. It's exciting, and it's, it's like a breath of fresh air. If I was coming home after a long day at work, about to cook a huge meal for my friends and family, I'd drop my groceries on this countertop, and I'd feel confident. What would help me feel confident? Perhaps I'd have a nice cold beer while I cooked. I'm just highlighting the fact that there's a beverage fridge built right into this island. Check out this living room. Do I need to even say anything about this living room? It's on point. I love the space and I love these windows running all the way across the back of the house, bringing that sunlight in and bringing that greenery in, making this home feel like a home, feeling earthy, feeling grounded, feeling special. Loving this space, there's so much room in here. Let's start with the fireplace. We got two built-ins over here. One here, one here. Gorgeous extra storage for your TV, CD players, whatever you got. I know you got a CD player still, I won't tell anyone. Just again, really classic painted out mantle. Really love this fireplace. We're gonna get a shot of it when it's on. It's gorgeous. I like these spherical objects in there. I think it's classic and timeless and modern. What's this behind me? Looks like a picture, but it's a TV. It's a Samsung frame. Is it included with the house? Yes, it's included with the house. This TV is so awesome, you'll want to buy the TV for the house. The house for the TV. You know what I'm saying. It's a gorgeous, functional piece. What does it do? It allows you to display art as the focal point and not ruin our space with that deep, dark, black television hanging over top of the mantle. Yeah, it's awesome when you're watching the game, but for the other 90% of the time, it's great to have this piece of art or countless pieces of art that you want to select and choose to really bring the space an arty, sophisticated feel that isn't revolved around the television. Moving over to this space over here. Again, just showing you how much space is in a house like this. Totally enough room for banquettes in here. If you wanted to do a bar cart or you wanted to do more of a wet bar setup, this is a fantastic spot to do it. We had kids play stuff here, so if you have kids, you always need that extra space. We had that kitchenette set up here and that little kind of tool space and enough room for a wagon. Really good space here. And also again, showcasing how much furniture you can actually get in here. Of course, we walk right out into this gorgeous yard. We're not gonna go out there yet. But again, just that beautiful free flowing feel right out into the yard, knowing that you can get out to that barbecue, bring drinks out to your friends who are already sitting out there going, God darn, you live on Victor Avenue? How'd you score a house on Victor Avenue? And you go, I don't know. It came up and we jumped on it. Let me show you upstairs. 
I know I've already mentioned it, but this coffer detail is extra special, so I'm gonna point it out one more time. Just again, this humble detail, adding some depth and character to the home. You don't necessarily register it, but something feels special about this hallway as you walk up, and these are the types of details at 56 Victor that you're not gonna see in other houses. Let me show you this master. I hope my wife's not watching this. Who has this nice of a master bedroom? First, I'm gonna tell you, we have this bay window here, and we have the view of one of the most gorgeous streets in all of Mimico. This is the type of street, and this is the type of view that makes people move to Mimico who have never even heard of it before. You definitely gotta come, you gotta see this in person and really get a feel for the neighborhood just by standing right here or on that front porch. Back to the master. Full king size bed in here. You can have a California king in here. There's more than enough room for three side tables on both sides. Not that you'd ever have three side tables, but I'm just displaying how much room and how sizable this master space is. Really feeling like almost a separate wing to this house and you really get that feel of grandeur when you look up and you have this vaulted ceiling and this beautiful light fixture. And again, that natural sunlight and greenery coming in just by standing right here or if you're like these sellers out here or sitting here on this awesome balcony. Now your realtor will tell you people don't ever use those balconies. That's wrong. When you have a street like Victor with views of trees and houses and people like you have from this spot, you'll use it all the time. It's one of the special things about this house. It's one of the special things about this location. Now, back to the rest of this master. Just gonna point out some features. Full walk-in closet here. My cameraman will get an awesome detailed insert of that for you. Bring on your Versace, bring on your skateboard clothes, whatever you wear, there's space for it. Honey, if you're watching, close your eyes. A shoe closet. Display your finest and best shoes, have your own closet for it. Beautiful idea, super on point, super luxurious. Now it doesn't have to be a shoe closet, it could be a separate linen closet. There's a ton of storage out here in the hallway, but if you wanted some more space in here, certainly you have it. Awesome space. Now check out this master bathroom. Loving this master, it's simple, it's luxurious, it's functional. We got our double sinks, again with that quartz countertop really showcasing these undermount sinks, these mirrors. We got our glass enclosure here, custom shower, herringbone tile on the floor, and these big nice white marble panels on the wall, looking beautiful, gonna be in style for a really long time. And of course, right in front of the window with a view of the sky and the trees, we have a soaker tub with jets. Come home after work, fall in love with your house again and again, grab a glass of wine, jump in the tub, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. 56 Victor. Let's keep looking. Walking again into our hallway, linen closet right here, extra deep, extra wide for a linen closet, more than enough room for linens for all four of these bedrooms. Again, really well placed. Behind these double doors, what do we have, mom and dad? We have a huge washer and dryer with folding table, mamma mia. Cameraman, can we get an insert of this? I really love the extra storage above this folding space and I love this Spanish tile across the floor. These little attentions to detail in small spaces like this are what make these types of homes like 56 Victor shine. Check out this bedroom. I really like this room and maybe it's because I'm excited every time I see a bunk bed, but I love the size of this room. You can have a queen size in here, a dresser. You got this gorgeous window, California shutters. Now these shutters, I haven't spoken about them yet. They're throughout the house. These are not cheap to put on people. So many people buy houses like this and they don't know or even think about how much it's gonna cost to put window coverings. Not at 56 Victor, you got super high-end window coverings ready to go on almost all the windows in the whole house. What else do we have in here? We got this big wide plank hardwood flooring that we love seeing throughout this whole house, making it durable and easy to clean. And just behind the cameraman, we got our double closet. This is an on point, second bedroom for this four bedroom house. Let's see another one. Another great size room, beautiful view of the treetops in the garden, 
awesome space. You can get a queen size in here, more than enough room for a very large dresser, which you don't even need because you have yet another double closet in here. Hardwood floors, easy to clean, looks beautiful, really good natural color in here, really good natural light. These rooms are really special and they're on point, making this feel like the optimal family home, because it is. Check out this bedroom. Same size as the last, gorgeous. This one's being used as a nursery. You can see this is a huge double dresser in here. We got more than enough room for a large slider or a rocker. I highly suggest not getting a rocker and getting a slider. We got a rocker and it drove me nuts, but that's just for the moms and dads out there. Great window, looking out into the yard. I can't wait to show you this yard. It's extra fun and special. And another double closet. You know, it's so often we're not even seeing closets in room. To have double closets throughout all the rooms is super exceptional and I hope that you're making note. Now, I'd love to show you this bathroom that services these three rooms. Love this bathroom. It's perfect for a bunch of kids to be sharing or teenagers or guests or whoever. We got this extra counter space here for all the stuff that collects on our counters in our bathrooms because God knows we all don't live like this, but let's pretend we do. Super neutral and natural flooring in here. Love it, it's on point. Great shower stall in here, oversized subway tiles in a stack pattern, feeling classic yet modern. Great nook here for shampoo and soap. We don't see those enough and we don't see them big enough. This is on point. Great soaker tub for the kids, lots of space, and you get that natural light from this skylight that's been put in. I love this bathroom, super special. Can't wait to show you this basement. Coming down into this basement, get ready for this. This is a massive basement with a ton of potential. Set up beautifully right now. So this is almost like a little foyer when you come down here. There's tons of space. This is a great spot to put an office or a little desk. If you wanna put a printer down here or even a freezer. Some people like that big family chest freezer where well, you got a ton of space right here, right at the bottom of the stairs, out of sight from that beautiful main floor, but right conveniently located at the bottom of the stairs. This door goes out underneath the porch. There's a sump pump, a check valve, because this is a new home and it's all to code and beautifully done. Tons of storage in there. You gotta check it out. I'm not gonna show you a storage room. Check out this. As we walk into the main space, I'm gonna stop you. We have our service room over here with our furnace and our hot water tank, but tons of room for extra storage and yet another storage closet here that goes fully under the stairs. Tons of storage. This house is so big, you're gonna need some for that extra stuff. Nice to have it tucked away out of sight. Over here, four piece bathroom. It's beautiful, it's neutral, it's on point. Really great to have that second, third, fourth bathroom here at this house. Come down here in the morning if there's just too much going on or have your guests stay down here. And wow, they got their own bathroom. Really great. Walking into this huge basement space, it's light, it's airy, it's massive, it feels light down here. You have lots of natural light coming in from these windows. I count one, two, three just in this space and tons of pot lights already installed. We've got a really nice neutral laminate flooring down here. You don't wanna put hardwood in the basement. You want laminate, something like this that's gonna be more durable, which makes it an ideal kids play space. You wanna play knee hockey or whatever it's called, or you just wanna hang out down here on your huge sectional couch and watch movies. Well, this is your basement right here at 56 Victor. Tons of room to entertain. Watch the games down here. Watch, watch your movies after the kids have gone to bed really loud. Love this space. I'd be excited to have it if it were my home. I know you're gonna love it when you see it in person. I wanna bring your attention over here. Apparently when the builder built this, this actual corner wasn't just a play space with a teepee. It was set up so that you could put a secondary kitchen down here. If you were ever looking to put a secondary kitchen down here, there is plumbing in this wall. We have a stove plug over there and you can see these are plugs at cabinet height. So if you wanna put a bar down here or you want two kitchens to be servicing your, your huge family needs, well you can have it here at 56 Victor in this awesome basement. Really exceptional space. I wanna show you this backyard.
Walking out onto this incredible deck, right away you can see how beautiful this yard is. This deck, perfectly sized. We got a six seater dining room table here. We got tons of room for this huge barbecue. And I can see a big sectional couch and an umbrella out here, kind of cozying this area in, making it so that you can stay out here all night long on one of the best streets in the neighborhood, feeling that Mimico vibe with your friends and your family. Walking down into the yard, it really is the perfect size. Tons of room out here, fully fenced yards for those kids, fully fenced yards for those pets. Let the dog outside for that little moment when you don't wanna go for a big walk, but really just showcasing how great this yard is. And I'd love to bring your attention to this custom modern tree fort. People, one, there's a TP swing. I hear that sitting in here with a coffee and your laptop in the morning will raise productivity by 1000%. One little pull here and your magic weighted drawbridge drops. Walk up into your tree fort. Wave hello to your friends. Throw chalk at them, whatever you want to do. Don't throw chalk, you know, throw them a ball. We want to be nice to our neighbors and our friends, but you get the point. This is an incredible little tree fort. It's cedar. It smells incredible in here. I love it so much. I'm coming back tonight and I'm going to have a little sleepover in here with my son. It's special. It's awesome. It's part of what makes this house so exceptional. I got to show you the garage before I kick you out of here. Let's take a look. Love that feature. Just gonna mention, beautifully built fence and gate, but a large gate so you can bring big pieces of furniture, lawn mowers, bicycles, anything you want into this backyard and it doesn't feel tight. So we're walking down the fully landscaped path here with interlocking, which is beautiful. And it makes a great space to hide our compost and our recycling and our garbage bins so they're out of the way and we can really utilize our garage space. Tucked away at the side of the house, easy to pull out into the driveway at the end of the street for garbage day. Really well thought out. Quick little side note, bring your attention to one deal that's gonna impress all the dads out there. This is the outlet for the sump pump and it comes out beautifully and neatly right into the eaves trough downspout and I love that it goes right out to grade away from the house. This is the type of thing that only home nerds would appreciate but it showcases how well thought out and how functional and new 56 Victor is. This excites me. Now, as far as garages go, these people are using this more as a studio workout space. Yes, they're storing some bikes and stuff with these awesome racks in here, but no word of a lie, the homeowner who's buff, not as buff as me, but very buff, works out in here and uses this as a mini gym. Of course, you can pull your car in here or do whatever you want with this space, but I think it's really interesting that they're using it more as a versatile living space than just car storage. You can see it works out. I can show you how to do a chin up if you don't know. I think you grab here and you, you pull, you pull hard and you get up. I'm just kidding, okay? I know what I'm doing. I work out sometimes, people. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. We've got our central vac out here. Tons of space inside this garage. New, white, it's just a clean slate to come in and make it your own. Really exceptional space, people. Now bringing your attention to the parking factor. This street, Victor, has massive front lawns which allow for massive long driveways to store two or three vehicles. Now, if you're parking in your garage, you can easily get three to four cars on holidays and stuff in this driveway, but there is street parking. It's a huge driveway. Right now, they're parking a Volvo and a Volvo SUV, and there's more than enough space. There's this feature here where your driveway is kind of combined with your neighbor, so if you're up front and someone's parked behind you and no one's there, you can easily kind of back out and pull out. Great tandem parking space. Anyway, people, that's it. My main focus here is to show you this incredible home, but to also pinpoint that this street is almost incomparable to any other street in Mimico. You need to come down and really get a feel for it. it this street will have people coming from all different neighborhoods in the city to feel that perfect neighborhood vibe. 
56 Victor, one of a kind, four bedroom, four bathroom opportunity here in Mimico by the lake, the most premium location in Mimico. You gotta come and see it. Anyway, for now, get out of here.